Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Motion Bruni, guys. Another video. In today's video, I know a lot of you guys out there are brand new to Apex Legends and you're just struggling to get your first win. In this video, you guys are going to get five pro tips that will hopefully get you a champion or be make you become a champion or something. I don't know what they call it. Victory Royale. I know Fortnite, that's what it's called. But this game, I don't really know too much. But basically, I'm going to help you guys get your first win in Apex Legends if you guys don't have it already. Uh, basically, these five tips are going to make you a better player if you implement it into the game. Now, don't just watch this video, hear the tips, and then not use it in the game. You got to actually use it within the game. So actually study these tips, learn these tips, and then use it in the actual game. Starting off with tip number one is you need to have good teammates. I know a lot of people out there are playing this game. They don't have that many friends online and stuff like that. Guys, use the comment section down below. Comment your gamer tag. Comment what system you play on, stuff like that. And communicate as a community. If you need to find players, read the comments. If somebody has a PS4 and they're looking for two other players, if somebody has their gamer tag, go ahead and send them a friend request. And if you can't do that or you don't want to do that guys go ahead and play games by yourself and my tip what me and my friend ended up doing instead of running just duos with us two and then a random what we would do is we'd start up a game whoever had a mic we would actually play with that person if they were somewhat decent at the game and usually we found like out of 10 lobbies we would find at least seven people with mics that are decent at the game that actually knew somewhat what they were doing but communication is everything you don't have to have the most perfect person on your team as long as they have a mic and they can communicate with you that's all you really need so I would we would go ahead and add that person as a friend and then keep them on our friends list so whenever we need an extra person we have somebody to play with so we would have a whole friends list of people that actually play apex all the time that are always playing so if we ever need extra teammates we just go to our friends list and add some of the people that we played with before in the past now sometimes we don't play with those people ever again but it's always nice to have those people on your friends list so that way you have extra teammates if you need it now moving on to tip number two is armor is huge in this game guys so basically armor is everything if you do not have level three or level four armor which is the purple or gold armor it is probably most likely a fact that you're going to lose the game you're not going to win it now having purple armor helps out a lot in this game and the only way you can get it is just finding it anywhere in the map you can find it in these little crates you can find it on the floor you can find it in supply job anything like that but the first half of the game that's what you need to be doing is looking for good armor a lot of the people spend most of the time at the beginning finding weapons and then going to rush people and dying right away you need to have purple armor the reason this is the armor plays a huge role in how much damage you can actually eat before you actually go down and die like that so you guys probably knew that but basically having the purple armor means you can take more shots you can take a little bit more damage until you actually die it's kind of like having shields in fortnite if you play fortnite and you don't run around with 100 health 100 shield it's going to be kind of hard for you to win the game it's kind of like playing fortnite and just playing with only 100 health and 25 shield or 50 shield or something like that it's going to be a little bit harder to win the game unless you have full max armor that you possibly can have because when you're running around with everyone else in the enemy has purple armor and you guys are both shooting at each other and you're both taking damage them having purple armor means they're going to be able to take a little bit more damage than you so you're going to end up going down quicker than them i found myself losing the game every single time i didn't have level three or level four armor so basically if i had blue armor i would most likely lose the game i think i only won the game one time ever with blue armor but my teammates had like gold or purple armor it was just me that had blue armor so it's very very hard to win a game not having level three or level four armor so spend the first half of the game looking for that armor that is one thing that you really need to find now moving on to tip number three is don't carry items that you don't need guys basically you have a backpack you can find level three level four uh level two backpacks out there and basically the level of the backpack means the size of the backpack so you can hold more things with a level four backpack compared to a level two backpack now the level three or four backpacks yes you can hold a lot of slots but you're gonna need that late game a lot of people find themselves running out of ammo they're running out of heals and stuff like that so basically you don't want to carry like ex extensions to your gun that you don't need if you have maybe a peacekeeper and a wingman you don't need any other extension that's not on that gun so if you have like a stock in your backpack go ahead and drop it you don't need it if you have a acog scope or anything like that that you don't need within the game that you're going to need late game please drop it usually what i carry in my backpack includes maybe one stack of shotgun armor because you're not gonna, or not armor shotgun bullets because you're not going to need that much shotgun rounds and then for the wingman or the 301 or something like that so light or medium ammo i'll have like four stacks of that so that way i'm never running out of that ammo uh, maybe two stacks of shotgun if i really need have extra space or something like that two grenades and then the rest are all heals basically i'm gonna have as many heals as i possibly can because late game you're gonna need it there's gonna be times where you're pretty weak you're gonna have to get out of situations do a quick heal up and stuff like that and these shield cells go by extremely quick as you can see using one of them alone 
you literally have to use four just to get your purple armor all the way up which it can eat it really quick so i suggest just having maybe two grenades so it's one stack of grenades one stack of shotgun armor and then four stacks of the main weapon that you're using all the time so that way you have infinite ammo and you probably are going to have like 300 200 ammo and something like that but that's good that's what you need especially for the 301 301 eats bullets like crazy so that's just my tip and my suggestion on what i use in my backpack now moving on to tip number four this one's kind of pretty simple but you need to sound whore you need to turn up your tv volume max blast or whatever it is your astros you need to turn it up basically sound whoring in this game is huge you can tell where an enemy is just by hearing their footsteps from literally 20 to 30 feet away you can hear them running across the map before you can actually see them so a lot of the times you'll notice i, I react before i actually see a teammate and that's because i hear something i have astro 840s so i can hear teammates really good sound whoring is everything basically turn up the volume on your tv or if not buy a good headset because in this game hearing the enemy is huge it helps for instance if you knock somebody within the game or say you knock a team you knock two of the teammates and you're over there healing up you can actually hear if somebody's reviving their teammate so that allows you to actually rush them while they're reviving their teammate to get an easy free kill and stuff like that but now moving on to the last and final tip is tip number five you have to get cover a lot of this map is not fortnite you cannot build you cannot be in the open so you need to use the map as coverage you need to use hills rocks mountains and things like that as you guys can see in this kill i'm using this rock to my advantage to actually shield up blocks so that way the enemy can't shoot me or get to me so using things like that rocks trees anything like that to maneuver around that way the enemy can't hit you if they actually try to shoot you and you walk behind a tree or something like that they're gonna hit the tree instead so you need to use things like that in order to save yourself protect yourself it is huge in this game to make sure that you're not just out in the open if you are you can somehow find a way to get within cover and this is whether using a specialist ability like going invisible or smoke screening or something like that just make sure that you can actually get behind a rock so that way you have a chance to heal or let the enemy rush you while you're healing and stuff like that and you're not just getting shot in the open so there you guys have it that is top five pro tips for beginners if you guys are new to the game i hope you guys actually use this within the game again down in the comment section below comment below what system you play on and what your gamer tag is so that way we can actually play as a community i'm going to be adding some of you guys so leave me let me know down in the comment section below again what system you play on and then your gamer tag guys thank you so much for all the love all the support if you guys do want a part two to these top five tips for beginners pro tips for beginners go ahead and give this video a thumbs up the more likes we get the more that i know you guys enjoy this series and i will see you guys in the next video peace <laughs>